So, you want to add Bloom to your Cycles render. Um, this is the video for you. Welcome. Sit down, have a cup of coffee, sit back, relax, play some Minecraft. I don't know what you do. But, everyone knows that EB has Bloom. A everyone knows that. So, if we go over here to EB and we just turn on Bloom and Screen Space Reflections, and we render it, you can see that there is very clearly Bloom in this, and you can adjust the settings like intensity and stuff how intense you want it the threshold everything like that everything's good and dandy but we switch over to cycles and the bloom's gone there's no bloom whatsoever and there's no option anywhere in the settings for bloom so how do we get bloom in our render well basically what you're gonna want to do is first render out your image you're just gonna render out your image Okay, this is the first step in every uh, compositing thing. You want to render out your image. Okay, so once you have your image rendered, you can see there's very clearly still no bloom. Even though it's a very bright light in the scene, there's still no bloom. So how do we get bloom? So, if you look at these handy dandy tabs at the top right over here, you will see, next to the last one, it will say compositing. Compositing is your little workspace that you do with everything once it's rendered. So... Once you're in here, you'll notice that there's nothing in here. So if you go up top, right here to the top right, it'll be a little check mark that says use nodes. So click use nodes. And then now you have your render or your render layers, whatever you have, and this composite. So what you can do is if you have the node wrangler add-on enabled by going to edit, preferences, add-ons, and then just looking up node wrangler and checking it, turning it on. If you hit control and shift and then click on this render layers, you can see you can preview it. So that's pretty handy and you now also have you also now have this viewer node. So what we can do now is we can just go over here to view at the left over here on this little toolbar. If you don't have this and just click N on your keyboard and click fit. That just fits it to where you can actually see the entire image. So now what do we do? What do we do in this menu of goodness to get bloom in cycles? So if you hit shift A and then search for the glare node. This glare node right here is going to add bloom. So we put this connected to the viewer. We see that we now have this sort of bloom effect. But it's not really bloom. It's just glare. So how do we fix that? So if we look at this glare, um, we look at this glare node, we have a few options. Option that's making it look like this specifically is this first option, streaks. You see we have a bunch of different we have a bunch of different options. Like if we click ghosts, we can see that we have this completely wild looking thing. And then simple star is this little thing. How to get bl how to get a bloom effect though is you click fog glow. And fog glow will give you this bloom effect. So the settings in here is mix, which is how much it mixes into the scene. Uh, negative one is none, and then one is pretty much nothing else is in the scene except for the bloom. But if you click zero, it's just the bloom and then whatever else you have in your scene. Threshold is how much it mixes with um, the rest of the scene. So if we turn that down to zero, it kind of lights up the rest of the scene. And we turn it to like a really high number, we don't have like any bloom at all. So keep that at one. And then we have the size. So this is, will be the size of your bloom. So if we go up to nine, we can see that it blooms out more. It's like a more powerful bloom. And if we go down to like seven or six, we can see that it's barely anything. So depending on um, what your render looks like, you might need to change this. But then we also have this little medium tab up here. And you have high, medium, low quality for the bloom. Low quality is going to make it a low quality. You can see there's like this little cutoff over here. It just looks low quality. Medium is what we were just looking at it. It's what the default is. And then we have high. Uh, high setting will give you the like highest quality bloom and you might need to turn your uh, size up but now we have this bloom and that's pretty much how you make bloom in cycles so uh, this was a really quick video thanks guys so much for watching um, if you have any questions leave them in the comments below but my name is Michael from Polygon Island I'll see you guys next time bye